What's up guys, this is Alan, and uh, this is one of the easiest job uh, jobs I've ever done in my handyman career. But this easy job right here turned into a nightmare. Yes, let me tell you the story. So this customer right here, I've been working for many years. He asked, hey, can you change the batteries on my boat? I just got sh uh, shoulder uh, uh, surgery, so I can't lift the batteries, they're too heavy. The batteries are like freaking 80 pounds each, or if not, 100 pounds. So I told him, sure. I mean, I, I'm a handyman, I can do anything, right? Of course. So, without any thought at all, you know, I told him, yeah. And uh, he doesn't even ask how much. That's, you know, that's the type of customers you want to work for. The ones that you just bill and then they'll pay you. Uh, but anyways, so I didn't realize this is an electric boat. And I didn't realize that this boat has six batteries. It has three on one side. And it has three on the other. So, I mean, uh, I have common sense and I think my IQ is at least average. So before taking the batteries out, I took a picture, right? Took a picture of that side and took a picture of this side right here. Uh, you can see it on the screen, those are the pictures. So I went to the store, got the batteries, came back, installed them, and you know, charged the customer $300 plus the cost of the batteries. It took me about three hours, and most of those three hours was just driving. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Good. So a few day, days later, the customer sends me a text message, and he's like, uh, you know, I'm trying to start my boat, and it's just not doing anything. Can you come over and check it out? And without any thought, I told him, sure. It's probably loose cable, or I may have missed something, right? No big deal. So I come over here and check the uh, batteries. I don't know what I was thinking guys. I don't have any experience with electric vehicles. This is an electric boat. So apparently, I just learned this. Well, I learned this the hard way, which I'm gonna teach you today. So you don't make the same mistake. These batteries are connected in series. So what that means is, you got the negative right here, and then uh, actually you got the positive right here, connected to the negative of the other battery. And then negative to positive right here actually this is negative right here this is positive so when you connect negative to positive that is called connecting in series and what that does is it will increase the voltage of your system so these are 8 volt batteries so what happens is when you connect in series you got three batteries right here one two three eight times three that's 24 you connecting over there in series too eight times three that's 24 for a total voltage of 48 volts and that's how many volts this um, boat needs in order to run so what I did though if you look at the picture on the screen no, they're not really that clear so I got complacent and I thought I knew what I was doing so like I said I don't have experience so what I did instead of connecting them in series I connected the batteries in parallel so what does that mean well, it means that you keep the same voltage. So even if you connect all those batteries together, you're still going to have 8 volts. But what's actually going to increase is going to be the amp hours of your batteries. And that is like the storage, okay? So what you do when you connect in parallel is you increase the storage of your batteries while keeping the same amperage. No big deal. So. What I did is, on the pictures, I knew um, this cable right here, it was negative. And then I even put a, a black uh, tape on it to make sure that I, I didn't forget. And obviously I got the positive over there. Same thing on the other side. So I got the ends right, but at the metal batteries, I connected them in, in, in parallel. So technically, I only had all together 24 volts um, of uh, power and the other uh, batteries were connected in parallel so if the boat didn't have enough uh, power to run no big deal anybody makes mistakes right so I already spent three hours um, you know doing the job so I come back the second day I realized my mistake and I connected the batteries the way they were supposed to and then this boat right here has a plug out here and then I plugged it in and left, assuming that everything was working like it's supposed to, right? So two days go by, customer sends me another text. And then he tells me, so I went on a ride, the first ride was fine, but the second time 
it was just lacking power and I think the batteries are just out of uh, they're not charging or something's going on so I'm like hmm interesting you know I make sure I check the bolts I check the cables I, I you know I I didn't think of anything that could have uh, been an issue so I told him you know what I'll come back in the, uh, tomorrow and check it out and see what's going on so I come back and then I double check everything I go on Google I go on YouTube and I check all the wiring I take the batteries out I may have mi missed a cable somewhere everything was fine I didn't see anything wrong and I actually spent like two hours just troubleshooting all the cables and making sure everything was good so so far this job I'm into five hours so I don't see anything wrong so I tell the customer you know what um, let me do some research and then I'll come back when I have a little more time and then I'll travel I'll troubleshoot it next week he didn't have any issues so you know so I'll come back next week so I go home do some more research and actually the f thing that I find is about golf carts so apparently when the batteries get discharged like a lot um, this boat has a smart charger and uh, that smart charger it's supposed to be so smart that when there's not enough voltage in the system uh, it's not going to charge your batteries how does that make any sense it does not but apparently they're smart so yeah so initially I thought when I connected the batteries in parallel the charger the smart charger in this boat didn't actually register the voltage so it didn't charge the batteries and this boat actually is always on there's no off guys so um, so it probably drained the batteries and when the customer went on a trip it completely drained the batteries completely and then the charger never picked up the voltage so it didn't charge no big deal right so at this time I didn't understand the difference between you know 8 volts 6 volts 24 volts and I didn't realize that you have to have a special chargers to charge these batteries so I come back with my 12 volt charger that I use on my car and uh, I spent another probably two and a half hours trying to charge these batteries I checked on uh, online you can actually connect two batteries in series 8 times 2 is 16 volts and then use a 12 volt charger to charge the batteries and you can do two batteries at a time and then you can bring the voltage up just high enough that the smart charger will actually pick up the charge and I spent like two and a half hours trying to do that and the stupid charger wouldn't come on I'm like I was done guys and so far seven and a half hours into this job so I tell the customer you know what uh, I'm gonna take the batteries home uh, I need to charge them fully so that way the charger can actually charge the batteries and uh, he's like yeah yeah you know do what you need to do so no big deal so I go home and I spent probably a day or two days trying to charge batteries with a 12 volt charger and the thing just was not charging it was just taking too long it would have taken weeks just to charge the batteries so I go online and I um, I tried to get um, a temporary charger this one right here this is a 24 volt charger so what you do is you connect three batteries in series and then you can connect this charger to it and it will charge three batteries at a time so I do that and it took me about a day and then uh, I finally get all the batteries fully charged and then bring them in connecting remember they're about 100 pounds almost 100 pounds each and then I have to bring them all the way from the driveway into here which is like probably like 150 200 feet away heavy yes I was sweating and it's hot on top of that so I bring the batteries connect everything plug the charger and then I'm inspecting I'm inspecting this charger right here this is the new one that I just put in to kick on you can hear you can hear the fan listen yeah that's charging anyways I expect this thing to kick on and nothing at that point guys I'm done I was pissed I spent so many hours doing this thing uh, so far I'm about nine hours into the job and then I still have an issue so you know what I do let me show you what I do so since I'm a handyman and I can do anything right um, this is the old charger so what I do is I go in the boat and um, I you know unscrew this uh, screws right here to see if I can see anything obvious inside the charger maybe shorted or something happened and then the charger was just not working I don't know but you know sometimes things are obvious and if it's just uh, 
an area that got shorted maybe I can fix it or, you know resolder it I don't know maybe it's a fuse on the inside but unless you check there's no way you're gonna know so I take this cover off and I'm in the belt by the way okay so all this is connected and I make sure that it, the charger was not plugged in but one thing that I did not make sure is I forgot that the actual uh, battery system was not plugged into the charger I forgot to do that and that's gonna be important and I'll tell you I'll tell you in a minute why that's gonna be important so I open this up and then uh, like I said I see those cables right there and they look like all messed up and I think that's it it has to be that easy you know splice them together problem fixed so I get my multimeter and actually I check continuity and it, it, it's working it wasn't that so then I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and troubleshoot you know farther inside the charger and see what else I find in there um, so I checked this uh, board right here let me uh, let me take it off so to see to show you guys So I checked this board right here, right? And then uh, you see those? That looks like a fuse to me, right? There's one on the left, there's one on the right. So I, I get my multimeter and then, you know, there's continuity on the one on the bottom, no issues. Uh, I check the second one, the one on the top, and nothing. Uh, it's open. So I'm like, that has to be the problem. Maybe, you know, when I connected the batteries in parallel, whatever, maybe the charger was going out, who knows? And then that fuse just went out, whatever. So I can easily take this board out, you know, solder and get a new one, check the numbers, order one online and fix this. I'm the handyman, right? I can do anything. So, okay. So I'm like, you know what? Before I commit, um, I'm gonna do the smartest thing uh, that you can do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and jump the fuse so I go in the back and then I find um, I find where the uh, where the fuse is in the back you see that right there so it wasn't like that okay so I get a cable it was like an 18 uh, 18 gauge cable about, about the same thickness as this little cable right here right I'm like, you know, it can't be that much current going through there. So I get my uh, jump cable and then I bring it in and I jump those two uh, contacts right there. And the minute I jump it, the biggest arc I have ever seen in my life. The brightest, even brighter than any lightning I've ever seen in my life. Just melted the cable immediately, like in less than a second, guys like no time to react and then I was seeing freaking stars for the five minutes after this happened because it was so bright and then I look at my gloves I don't have the gloves my gloves were black right right where I was holding the cable so that was not a good idea so I shorted something obviously and I definitely messed something up in here at that point I was done through the towel and then I told the customer, I'm gonna go ahead and get you a new charger and I'm gonna install it free of charge. So, yeah, that's what I did, guys. So, here's the boat. I checked the batteries. I got the new charger right here. You can hear the fan running, it's charging, no issues. You can see the lights are running. Um, this charger right here, um, I actually got on eBay. I got lucky. I found a used one for like $180. This charger's new are about five, six hundred dollars um, But I got lucky, so no big deal there. And I reuse a lot of the, the connections right here. This is an Anderson plug, uh, so I was able to reuse that. And then the actual uh, power cable right here, you guys, uh, can seeing on the screen right now exactly how I changed that so I can easily disconnect this in the future or for maintenance or anything else but now the charger is working and you can tell it's working because the fan is running 
the other one um, when I came back with the batteries fully charged they were n uh, this charger was not running and then as I was messing in there like I told you earlier that fan kicked on for a few seconds and then shut off that's what prompt me to think that it was something that was not making good contact in there so that's why I opened it up and uh, yeah um, thankfully I was wearing gloves otherwise I would definitely would have burned my fingers that thing was so bright the instant reaction was for me to let go so I let go because I was in this little space working in here so I let go guys and I was never able to find the cable I think completely melted like as soon as he shorted it, it, it was so high it melted and then I smelled burnt smell and I was so scared because you see this area right here this is an enclosed area and since I let go of the cable I was so scared that it went back there and then it was just gonna catch the boat on fire and I was gonna have to buy the customer a new boat but thankfully the boat did not catch on fire I tried looking for that cable for like 30 minutes I could not find it uh, so that's that's why I think it completely melted so moral of the story that is guys uh, don't get complacent when doing a new job always research first don't just assume something always do research and uh, that way you won't run into issues like this but sometimes they're just gonna happen even if you try your best it's just the way life works guys now one thing I wanted to quickly point out is I do not think I'm the one that broke the charger. Uh, originally, the customer said that his boat was losing power and he thought the batteries were going out. And that's the reason why he asked me to replace them. I think the charger was already going out. And when I disconnected it and just messing around, I think that's all it took to completely break that charger. I don't think it was charging correctly to begin with because all I did was just connect some batteries in parallel and uh, the system just had less voltage. So nothing shorted, no arcing anywhere. That shouldn't have messed up that charger. Those chargers, if they don't detect the right voltage, they will not charge. So by having less voltage, that charger wouldn't have charged batteries and it wouldn't have broken the charger. I think that thing was just meant to go out. This is why I always tell you guys, charge money. Charge what you are worth. Do not feel bad when you charge people money. Because things like this are going to happen. And if you're working on something and something else breaks, you are to blame. You are liable in the eyes of the customer. If you start arguing with your customer, trying to make sense of the situation so you don't have to pay for it, you're never gonna win. It's just not how it works. So I didn't argue with my customer. Uh, initially, like I said, I thought the batteries just needed to be charged and that didn't work out. So, and then, you know, just messing with that stupid charger, I almost killed myself. Um, but yeah, so I learned a lesson. It's never gonna happen again. I'm not upset. Uh, a lot cheaper than paying for college. I learned um, how, you know, um, how the wiring on the boat works, how the charger works, voltages, amperage. I learned all that stuff. So if I ever get another job like this, I know exactly what to look for and uh, how to troubleshoot anything like this before. So like I said, I didn't argue with the customer. I told him I'll make it right. And. Um, it is what it is so the charger is working now charging the batteries and uh, everything is good to go so hopefully you learned something out of this uh, and like I said you need to charge guys to make up for stuff like this they won't always happen when they when they do you got to make sure you you know you can afford to pay for repairs because things like this one way or another are going to happen to you sooner or later Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, actually, before we finish, let me break down how much I spent. So the charger was about $180. I got lucky, I bought it on eBay. Um, it was used, so that's a, that's a win because new ones are five, $600 and it would have taken several weeks to come in. 
Uh, miscellaneous parts, I think about $20, so that's $200 total. Um, I did have to buy a charger to temporarily, char uh, temporarily uh, charge the batteries until the new one came in, so that was like $60 to $70, so I'm about $270. And, um, and just my gas um, going back and forth, which, you know, that house is not close by. It's about 40 minutes from my house. So I was there easily about four times just trying to troubleshoot that stupid thing. So, I mean, that's like three hours almost. Yeah, that's, that's about three hours of uh, just uh, commuting back and forth. And gas is not cheap nowadays. And then my time, I little, I probably spent, I would say, at least uh, uh, 12 hours total messing with those batteries. And that is including the original three hours that um, it took me to go get new batteries and bring them back. Um, so if you don't count those hours, nine hours total. That's a long time. That's a full day, guys. So I lost a full day of work um, just trying to fix my mistake. Even though I don't think I'm the one that broke that charger, but you guys let me know. Uh, the new charger is working, no issues, and uh, customer is happy. So, as long as the customer is happy, this is an all uh, time customer. They always pay well, they never argue, so I wasn't about to start arguing about a few hundred dollars uh, for a new charger. That's not worth uh, losing a good customer. Anyways, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Comment below if you have any questions. And as always, I will see you next time.